Greetings, fellow citizens. I am the Senate Dude, and welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. When we last left off, we got robbed by kids. Uh, we began our search for Angelo Bronte, and we got met, this, met these two prisoners in Rhodes called Mr. Black and Mr. White. And we got three new dino bones off screen because that's how I announced I would do it. But in order to compensate for that, I'm going to reveal something to you. Look at that. That, my friends, is a rock carving, and it's the first one we have found. So let's go ahead and list it up here. There we go. Rock carving coordinates, number nine. And hey, boy. What the hell? There's something up there. What's up there? Let's not stick yeah. around and find out. Let's head back yep. to somewhere. Enemy. <laughs> Good descriptions. And also, we while we're looking for, we got a dino bone here. Where did we? Where else did we get them from? We got um. Uh. Yeah, we got one there. There was one right here. And there was one right here, along with uh, that rock card. Right. That was good. Pull up a gun! Yo, why don't I have guns? Break free, break free. He's dead. Fuck me, he got me good. Cougar. Ah. Ugh. Ow. Oh, where's my hat? I lost my hat. Oh, here's my hat. Alright, let's get the horse back. Okay, horsey. Bad kitty's dead. Let's go, boy. Now let's head over to Ansberg and hitch a ride back to Rhodes, so we can continue our missions. Yep. Into a goddamn wall. What's going on? What do you want me to do? I don't want you to work in that mine no more. Okay? Would you rather go back to thieving? Hmm? I'm providing for my family. Well, you can't provide for us if you ain't got no lungs. And what if it caves in again? Well, I told you a hundred times already. It'll get better. Yeah, sure. And who's gonna change things around here? You? Jameson? He'll work you to death. I've had enough. I'm gonna go put food on the table. Getting well, it from all then. sides, huh? See if I care whether you come back. Believe me, fella, you don't know the half of it. Is there a man in this town who ain't a moron? It's me. He's just scared. Good job's hard to find. A good job? Caking your lungs for a couple of dollars a week? Scared or not, he's gonna ruin us both. That idiot. I love him, and I hate him. <laughs> Every day, covered in soot, coughing half the night. <laughs> Alright, well. Hopefully things get better for you. Idiot. Oh, what's the Ansberg's Times, I wonder? It's probably our newspaper. One newspaper, please. Wanna buy something? I'll take a paper, please. Thank you. Make Read sure the you newspaper. come back tomorrow. Step up, Annisburg. All right. Huh. Viewed at the brink, lawman found dead. A fifth person slain. Huh. Prisoner escapes. Uh. Men should keep silence. 
beer brewing in Europe. Come on, folks. Get your new hand over Gazette today. Quincy statue defiled, the king of corsets, they have fled, a massive motif, a modern steam marble, bank robbed, the bank of Valentine has been robbed by an outlaw game. Step up, Annisburg. Hmm. out you a gun. Alright, score is dead in blood feud. Braithwaite's versus Grays. Braithwaite Manor burnt to the ground. Sheriff Great killed. Most of both families believe dead. Road, roads in pieces. Grand Champagne reception to be held. Submarine in the works. Ooh. It's not the Hunley, I know that. Authorized. Motorized lawnmower patented. Cautionary Tale, Riverboat Grand Corrigan, Opera Singer Robbed, Stagecoach Robbed in Scarlet Meadows. Ah, uh, yeah, that was one that we did with, uh, Josiah Trelawney. Hello, mister. Search for more, what are they called? Wanted posters. Find the wanted posters. Let's head into town. You crazy! Shut this book. How have you been? Oh. No dog. Last one, a poster. Alright, return to Mr. Black and Mr. White with the one to Where are they at? Kind of hard to return the wanted posters to them if I don't know where they are. Maribeth. Uh, Brother Dorkins. I could just do side missions this episode. I'd love to do that. A corpse over there. Why is there a corpse over there? Maybe they're in this house right there. That's where I remember seeing them. Hello, mister. We've had quite enough of your kind here. Let's get this guy. Alright, he didn't have anything on him. Oh. Oh, there they are. in town. Pretty hot. There's quite a price on you boys. 
It is so unfair. I, I didn't do nothing. Well, they said you was wanted for murder. It was a murder? It was self-defense. And you killed a farmer? Well, firstly, I would have, but he died before I could. And secondly, well, he had it coming. He... I don't like to say. Well... Well, let's burn the posters. Ain't no business of mine. Here's the posters. Thanks, partner. That's that, then. That's that. Free at last. Free from you, at least. Well, not quite. No? We should wait a while first, see if anyone's on our trail. You're right. Too risky to split up now. Two sets of eyes is better than one. This ain't permanent, though. It's a temporary measure. Well, right, right, till things blow over. Then I'm done with you, Black. I'm counting the hours, White. Jeez. These guys gonna I be alright. some food in my belly? I'm set, mister. Alright. Can't carry any more ginseng. Alright. Time to go, boy. Alright, so we'll get that information later from Alden. But, oh, it looks like we have a debt down south. Algy Davison. We have a bounty up here, and we have a thing down there. Let's do that. All right, let's. Yeah. All right, let's go in here. They might be in here. Nope. None of this is working. Where's the debtor? Where's the dead at? They out fishing? Where are they at? I need to find them. What happened to this dude? Algy Davison. Hey! You better have a damn good reason for being on my property, mister. Oh, I got a damn good reason. Remember that loan you took, Mr. Davison? Well, time's long since up. I'm here to collect. <sighs> oh, I should have known. You goddamn bludgeon men are all the same. Sure, I'm sure I got your money. Every stinking cent. It's in the house. Hell, I'll even offer you a drink. We can toast to never laying eyes on each other again. I got a powerful thirst on me right now. How about you? Well, you gotta be stinking drunk already to do this kind of work. Uh, I like doing it sober. You take my money, surely you take a drink off me as well. That would be the manly thing to do. Let's us uh, handle the money first. Worry about manners later, okay? All right. I could be fishing. You were catching flies, you weren't catching fish. Now come on. Let's get us that death. Someone's here, boy. Jeez, this place is a mess. Wait, what's going on? Don't just stand there. Go fix us a drink. Another one, Pop? Don't give me no talk, boy. Just do it. I'll look down here for our savings. Savings? Under the sink? Best place for. Shouldn't have turned your back on me, you parasite. Ah, uh, damn it. Ma! Oh, least it's tough. Ma! Ugh. All 
Alright. Should I kill that man? Alright, where's your dead at? Oh, I can't take the crackers. Damn. Search the rest of the home for the debt. I thought I was just being nice. I'll leave him knocked out, I won't kill him. Oh, some gin, but I don't need any gin. <laughs> Premium cigarettes, don't need them. I don't know where else to look in this part of the house. Let's look in this part then. Paul, what you done? What you done? Son, I want to get out of here, but I can't until I find some money. This some in my footlocker. I can't, I've been keeping it away from him. Ain't that lucky? All right, kid. I'll let you two live. I won't kill either, either one of you. Take the debt money. I think I know the sum. And that should cover it. Ain't you the good son. You should be proud of yourself. Should be proud of himself. Ooh, he's got two cigarette cards. That's it, I told you! Drunk and a destitute. <laughs> there ain't nothing else here. All right, I'm gonna leave now. Letter to Nate from Mama. Dearest Nate, I don't know how many letters I've written now, but ba 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 Alright. Well, potent snake oil, don't need it. I thought there was something else, but I guess not. Search cabinet. His dad's knocked out in the kitchen. Come on now, boy. All right. All right, let's do something good now. Let's do the bounty hunt. Mark Johnson, he is wanted alive for crimes of train and stagecoach robbery. $25 reward offered in Rhodes. Hmm. Yeah. All right, look 
Okay, Mark Johnson. He's wanted alive. Easy, easy. He's at this camp. until you get this right. I can't, Daddy, please. Let him in. He's been trying for hours. Oh, they're here for your bounty. Oh, come to Mama, boy. Don't shoot. I'm an arm. We knew you was coming. I got something to ask. I'm a changed man, okay? Let me say my farewells. I'll come away peaceable. All right, go ahead. Make it quick. You're a forgiven man. Boy, boy, come here. Listen. Exactly as I say. You hear? No. Don't. I ain't gonna fight you in front of my family. Okay? If you wanna take me, take me. <laughs> this is bullcrap! <laughs> Look away, boy. You remember this moment. You're the man now. Be a man, boy. This is uh, very kind of you. Uh. <laughs> oh. you, Daddy. Enough with that. Just remember what I said, boy. Oh. Fucking horse kicked me. All right, let's pick him up again. It's just us now, son. It's just us. <laughs> Daddy did a bad thing. <laughs> and there ain't no such thing as forgiveness. <laughs> God, <in> this world. This actually makes me upset. I'm actually sad from that. This is the worst bounty I've ever done. made that worse for yourself. Put you back on the horse. There he is! Like the boar said! Let him go back to his family! Uh, or you're gonna have trouble with us! Oh, great. That's all your friends, ain't it? You shouldn't have done that. And now look what's happened. Dead because of you. Damn it. I knew you was being quiet. Come on, pal. Johnson. Johnson! What? Just you real quiet back there. Most captured men, they beg or they cry or they rail against fate. I've made my peace. Okay. All right.
This is Rhodes. You're almost shot him. I'm ready. I hope they make it quick. Life and present. Life and present. Life and present. Life and present. All right, I'm done. Life and present. Found this feller on a small holding. Name's Mark Johnson. You can only run so long, son. There's your cell. You're lucky it's not a grave. I was out to buy you. Wasn't hurting no one. Maybe you weren't. But those partners of yours were a rough bunch. Go to hell. You made your son watch that. You're an awful person, and you deserve to hang if you do get hung. But you deserve life in prison more than anything else. Not <laughs> bit. That's the price for Johnson. I didn't take it, someone else would have. You tell yourself that, bounty hunter. You ain't whiter than white. I hope your past catches up with you. I swear I'm a good man now, Sheriff. I got a son. Everyone's got a side story, Johnson. Got another outlaw we're seeking. Oster will be done and in the station in no time hence. All right, thank you, Sheriff. I built a home out in godforsaken country. Land no one would want. I made amends, I promise. You'll find redemption in a chain gang or on the end of a rope, that's all. Ugh. We all deserve second chances, every one of us. You ran and you kept running. Don't twist this any other way. All right. That was good. Hey, boy. Shot all of his dumbass friends dead, too. Even manipulated his own son. That's disgraceful. Just for his own dastardly deeds. All right. Now. Let's go catch ourselves a Damn it! Move your ass! We did nothing wrong! Whoever put you two together was planning a long, hard to ruin my day. Stay back from the wagon, sir! Transporting some lawbreakers! Mess with the wrong Shoot the lock or pick it open. Get out. All right, ready? One, two, three. <laughs> Thank you for that, friend. You're welcome. I don't have no money, clearly, but maybe I know something of interest. Hear about the gunsmith and Rose? He got some bad business going on in his basement. At least that's the word. Interesting. Get on quick. Two are easier to spot than one. Ah! All right, well, we probably should get out of here. Let's go, boy. Yeah. Where's this shine? Gotta wait for the moon to shine. Slow up now. Who we got here? Here we are. Good is dead. Ah! Ah! 
Got him. Off the bandana. Oh, he got shot right in the chest or collarbone area. Let's go. Let's seal the wagon and get it over to that doctor. That's shot, all right. Let's get you home. man wonderful <laughs> you got my money oh, it's, it's for a very good cause uh, my name is professor andrew bell the third perhaps you've heard of me <laughs> can't say that i have oh i'm an inventor uh, maybe you've read about me <laughs> uh, i don't read much oh oh well that's too bad oh yes <laughs> you got my money um, oh, well, it is the most wonderful invention, friend. Oh, you, sir, have done a great All deed. All I've done is get some creep a lot of drink. <laughs> Creepers, excellent. No nonsense. Now, you've helped me develop the most humane machine imaginable, a way to induce calmness to our most troubled souls, a way to end the barbarity of a public hanging. Oh, so, so humane. What are you talking about? The electric chair. Well, what? See, it's a chair full of electricity. It's quite fascinating. Okay. It calmly and peacefully dispatches the sinners uh, to face judgment. Yes, judgment. Yeah. Where mm. is it? Well, uh, it's in my laboratory. The next thing I need is a, a demonstration, a public one. Huh. Uh, do you know the police chief? Hmm? As well as anyone. Oh, wonderful. Perhaps oh. you can encourage him to let me demonstrate the chair. It will help bring this town into the next century. Yes, could you do that? Hmm? All right. Speak to the police chief at the St. Denis jail. Where's my fucking horse at? There he is. Come on, Monty. You can't be hiding from me. Alright, now, but first, let's go talk to Brother Dorkins. So now we've apparently assisted in the invention of the electric chair. Sister, my friend, Mr. Morgan. Oh, sir. Brother Dorkings told me about the wonderful thing you did. Oh, he talks a lot of nonsense. No offense. None taken. None taken at all. Hey, stop! He's kids that'll work! Don't hurt him, please! Meet us at the cathedral, Mr. Morgan. Ah, uh, these kids again. Where's a kid? You little bastards! You all right? Oh, I'll live. Kid did this? Hey, you know him? He robbed me. Which way you go? Uh, that way, I think. Thank you. Get off me! Where's my watch, you little weasel? I don't know nothing about no damn watch. Last Saturday, I saw you steal it with my own two eyes. Hey, you. Why don't you leave the boy alone? What's it to do with you? I can hit a lot harder than you. I promise you that. All right, forget it. Little shit ain't even worth my time. Thanks, mister. Pick up the crucifix. All right, we got the crucifix, man. <clears throat> 
Hey, you want some company, mister? No. You sure? Hey. What? I don't know you. This is Downs? Oh, no. Not you. Get away. How? Now. I mean, I, hey, help. I, help. Hold on. This man is bothering now. me. Someone help me. Officer, help. Oh, hell. They put her on killing you with bullets. You was warned. My boy. You don't need to do this! He gets down. Where have I heard that name before? Sister, I got your cross. <gasps> you didn't. Oh, I did. Oh, I hope the boy. He's fine physically. Mentally, he's a piece of work, but who am I to say? Brother Dorkins was right about you. You are the most wonderful man. Brother Dorkins is greatly deceived, I'm afraid, but I'm happy to help a little. Thank you. You see, it's a thing, but. My mother gave it to me when I was a novice, shortly before she passed. You are the most wonderful man. Oh, excuse me, Father. Sister, enjoy your day. See, Father? Right. Yay! Hello, officer. Good morning. All right, now let's do this next mission here. Come on out! You coward! We gonna talk about what you've done to my wife! You're a dead man! I just headbutted him. Oh, quite know why I did that. Because barbarity is boring, no? It kept me amused some years. You must go, my friend, before the Jean de Marie arrive. Hey, are you gonna do right by this feller's wife? You have done right by her. The little bird is free. Hmm. I am an artist, cowboy. I must do what I feel. Look, I have an exhibit at the gallery. You come, see what I mean. Oh, jeez. Am I gonna have to censor this again? Should I kill him? Nah, I won't kill him. Whoops. Hey. Alright. Hey. Arthur, what do you do? Uh. Alright, I guess that was nothing. Finish the professor's line here. Let's go to the Saint Denis Jail, I guess. Something. If this gets out, I'm finished. I just need a quick word, please. 
The whole saloon's overrun with rats. I'm losing business left and right. I need to get someone to get rid of them for me. I'll pay very well. I just need it done. All right. All right. Calm down. Let me see what I can do. Oh, thank God. Just be sure not to bang around the place too much. I'll wait out here. Locate and kill the rats in the saloon. Another one. Damn vermin. All right, that's all of them. I've done a good deed today. Ooh, thanks, mister. Take this. Ooh, you earned every cent. I killed worse. Twelve dollars. Now hopefully that guy can... Yes, you do. All right, let's go. Hey there, sir. Hey. Well, I see you didn't get the message last time. Well, I'll be keeping an eye on you, that's for sure. I'm a different man, sir. A good man. Thank you for keeping the peace. Huh. So, welcome to our humble police house. Ah. Can I help you with something? Oh. Mr. Bounty Hunter, <laughs> Mr. Carpetbagger, I can't possibly help you if you don't tell me what you need. Hello. Y'all keep to yourself. The entirety of the Lemoyne Raiders. Hi. What can I do for you? Y'all, <clears throat> Chief, I'm representing the inventor of a humane execution machine, we an electric chair, you, and he uh he wants to demonstrate his invention here. Ah. I'm familiar with the man and his work. Tell you what, I'll give you a permit, but it's going to cost you $100 in fees. The more Raiders coming back on top. Uh, let's, let's avoid it. There you go, buddy. I'll make more money again anyways. Okay, well, the price is fair. Here you go. And here, sir, is your permit. Appending the usual formalities, of course, such as uh, finding a suitable candidate for humane dispatchment. I'll tell that to the professor. Good luck. Return to Professor Bell. Hello, Lindsay. How you finding San Denis? Is it the seething snake pit you thought it was? I have no desire yeah, to speak with you. Well, I'm afraid you ain't got nowhere else to go. Bye, Lindsay. I said, ah, uh, what? What's this? Oh, these are letters. Can't read none of them. You got the permit. Then hang out. All right, I'm leaving. Shut up. Yeah. Out of the way. Bakali. All right. Oh, there's a another stranger mission down here. Love all these side missions. Love them. Come on now. Get moving, will you? Bastards! Total bloody bastards! Why 
do I waste my time? Why? <sighs> What's up with you? You okay, bud? <sighs> Fantastic. You Americans are nothing but shysters and traitors and slippery tongue bull suckers. <laughs> I'm inclined to agree. Ah, here, help me please. Back to work with a bloody smile. <laughs> no problem, Marco. You are the great genius, so we shall the hot poker up the ice. Say thank you, Marco. Thank you. Oh, thank you. What are you, some kind of. European toy maker? No, I am a fucking genius with poker up the ass, like I say. <laughs> toy maker. Hello? Do I look like I should entertain children? Yes. No. <laughs> no, he says. <laughs> no. <laughs> I am the savior of the mankind, Bobby. Yes, you meet him. Professor Marco Dragic. <laughs> the one the silver tongue American betray and, and not pay the money to. Yes, he told to shit, man. So, uh, what's this toy about? It is not a toy, Big Nuts. It is demonstration of my genius, of my ideas about the source of life. Oh, it's a toy boat. Yes, it is a toy boat that I can power remotely using electricity and waves you cannot see. Good for you. Ah! Ways I cannot see. And still the investors will not come. Just a couple of old ladies and a moron. <laughs> ladies, please. Uh, <laughs> ladies! <laughs> Gentlemen! <laughs> oh, chante. Uh, hello. Hello, sir. <laughs> okay. Uh, how is the piles? Yeah? Good, good, good. Okay. Uh, my friends, you are about to witness history. A demonstration of my infinite insight. All of us, we feel old. You, you are old. Oh. But maybe I can make you immortal. Mm. <laughs> Using waves you cannot see, I will power this You're boat. a goddamn fraud. And this buffoon dressed up like a buffoon is a stoolie. I watch them conspire, you morons. What? I, I never met this buffoon before two minutes ago. Isn't that right? Which part of it? Oh. So, Professor, show us your magical toy boat. Only this time let the buffoon control it. Check if there's any funny business. No, this ain't nothing to do with me. Come, please, please. Uh, <laughs> it is easy. Any moron could do it, and I am about to prove that. Here, take this, and this, and... Don't touch that. Use these ones to steer and this one to shoot torpedoes, okay? Yes, now now blow up the little battleships and, and avoid the sea mines. They have magnets attached. Make them nasty explosion if they touch the bot. Okay! If this silly dimwit can use torpedoes on boat to destroy the battleships, imagine what cool. technology can do in the hands of certified genius! And I have certificate. Hey, it's doing what I've done. Of course it is doing. Now tell it to do closer to battleship and shoot with torpedo. You see what he does? No wire like telegraph. The holy system. Oh and no! Only no. waves in the air. This is remarkable. Think of those poor boys on the HL Hunley. Eight of them perished to a mere five on the Housatonic. Another way to go. Trapped in a box at the bottom of the bay. I suppose you intend to make an unmanned killing machine? You misunderstand. This is the secret to life. What the transmigration of the soul. I make lifeless metal breathe like man. Well, I'm not sure about that. It's a small boat. Those mines are not so small.
Now, bring the boat back to the dock. That sure was something, but I'm not sure what, if anything, was proven here. Alright, let me just reload her. <laughs> this is really remarkable. This is just a, a demonstration of my prowess, sir. <laughs> the real miracles require investment. <laughs> ah. Now the dimwit will use invisible waves to destroy the little sailing boats before they get to other side of port, still avoiding magnetic mines. No, he'll attempt to at least. Shush! You're not here for this smart talk. The steam train, the telegraph machine, the motor car. They will all seem pedestrian in comparison to this technology. We are not relying on wires or coal or gasoline. No, just brakes. Good rules the seas. Very good. Very good. Very good. Now bring in the boat back here. Foolproof. Undeniably foolproof. But you are not fools. And unlike fools, not fools and their money are difficultly parted. <laughs> then, as I say, any fool, huh? Thank you, thank you. What is that? It is the stuff of life, sir. <laughs> it's incredible. No, no, no. Incredible things are in my lab back at Dover Hill. <laughs> that will astound all of you. <laughs> Mr. Marcel, can I count on your support? Well, this is expensive. It is immortality, sir. It is it is very cheap. Perhaps over lunch. Maybe. I'm gonna go. Oh, yeah, of course. And, and thank you. Um, if you're ever up near Dover Hill, pay me a visit. There, I will really amaze you. All right. Um, <clears throat> I hope you will forgive my... Right, bouncing boy. Marco Dragic. There's all kinds of inventions. Out of the damn way! All right, now let's get back to the professor. Talk to the professor. Ah, hello, friend. Hello, professor. Professor Andrew Bell the Third. That's it. So, the chief says you can test out your machine, ah. pending the usual formalities. And what are they? Uh, finding a suitable uh, subject. Ah, funny you should mention. This fella here, he seems sturdy enough, and he's guilty as sin. Wilson J. McDaniels, wanted for murder, bigamy, and immoral animal husbandry. What's that? The mind shudders. Here, find him for me and help me put him out of his misery. Ha huh. <laughs> ha, yes. Let's get McDaniels. All right, what is he wanted for? All right, so wanted for murder, bigamy, and immoral animal husbandry. Blah 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 blah. Why, this is all coming together wonderfully. Let's get the death penalty rolling. Piece of the puzzle. Where is he? Oh my gosh, he's all the way over there. Well, guess we'll have to end the video here, I'm afraid. We'll get someone sentenced to death in the next episode. Until then. Thank you all for watching this episode. And I feel before. Off you go and fetch the man. His kindly and noble executioner awaits. Alright, let's go.